Welcome back to episode 22 of our scooter adventure in the Mekong Delta of Vietnam. Today we're going to start our longest yet most thrilling trip to Phu Quoc Island. David and his family used to live here for almost 20 years, so this trip will kind of be a homecoming for him. As prominent among worldwide adventurers as the capital, Hanoi, and the biggest metropolis of the south, Saigon, this island has always been in the top five must-visit spots when in Vietnam. Also, according to the travel guide, Travel Lemming, Phu Quoc Island ranks sixth among the 50 best places to visit in the world for 2024. To best give you a thorough glimpse at our complete journey on this magnificent island, we'll release three episodes in hopes you can rejoice in the fun with us and potentially know what to do here on the island when on your travels. In this first episode, we'll show you how we will start from here and go all the way to here with an adventurous scooter ride and a turbulent boat trip. On the way, we'll be able to visit and show you around the city of Rakia, which primarily serves as a transit point for travelers heading to Fukuok Island. Then we will navigate our way to get to our very first five-star resort. There, we will stay for 10 days to show you the northern and southern parts of the island in the two other episodes. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all of our future adventures. Now, let's buckle up and head to the island. Today is day 12 of our journey in the Mekong Delta. The island and some other places we'll show you in these three episodes are part of the province of Kiem Yang, and this is province number 11 of our trip. Wow, I can't believe we passed through 10 provinces already and traveled a net distance of 614 kilometers with our scooter. If our commutes counted for this entire trip, we've put on a mileage of around 1,000 kilometers. Quite a feat to pull off lots of amazing memories and experiences for us. This afternoon's ride will be another 148 kilometers and will take us more than 4 hours to get to the city of Brek Yat. There, we will stay at a hotel for the night and take an express passenger boat early tomorrow to hit up Phu Quoc. However, the bad news is we can't really take any ferry or express ship or boat to get to the island just because of how, how bad the condition right now is at sea. Apparently, there is just another storm that happened immediately after the superstorm that we already informed you of in the last episode. And now this new storm just developed and is in its rage too. And so no vessels or no boats are allowed to deliver cargo or passengers to the island. Oh my god. Okay, well that's gonna be make for an interesting trip and we'll just have to play by ear with mm. the ferry to see when we can get to the island then. Alright, now let's get going. Alright, let's go! <laughs> It might look a little daunting, and there's no fun in traveling when it's raining, but it's quite an experience for us. Sometimes, things like this can challenge your flexibility, adaptability, and optimism. We just keep telling ourselves that our future journeys may even be more challenging, so this one will be practice. After passing the beautiful driveway with lots of bushes and vines, we're entering the market right next to Dok River again. Here, we meet this little guy and grab a bang mi for our quick lunch. Couldn't pull over to a better spot and still had a long way to go. We're just enjoying it right here on the scooter. The fish cakes taste really fresh and delicious. I'm glad David chose this shop. It's now around 1 p.m. and the rain has stopped for the most part, giving the road and its sides a tranquil and refreshing look. Riding on this road and I don't even think too much about the time momentarily, you know? After one hour on the scooter, our back started to be a little stiff, so we stopped by this hammock coffee shop. There are many places like this, offering a resting point for the back and the butt for long distance commuters. But I've never seen anyone swing their hammock like this. This is when we've been on the road for a bit over two hours. Despite the dismal look of the sky, I love how everything else is so scenic. And we're entering the land of the next province, Kinzang. It's the province of the island we're heading to. Around this area though, we saw so many places selling crabs like this. 
The track here is so well known. That's why people decided to name it after the city. We're gonna have to eat it once before we leave. Exactly. Okay. We will do it. We will do it. Maybe for dinner. Yeah. Yeah, that was exactly what Maddie said yesterday when we were going to Gamal. We actually didn't have a chance to try their famous crab until now, although we're now in a completely different province. It's okay as these crabs look pretty meaty and high quality. After knowing it's 250,000 dong or around 10 bucks a kilo, my main question for her is, will you boil them for us if we buy them? She said, I normally just sell and won't boil the crabs because I have a newborn to attend to, but because you guys are on a road trip, I'll help you. That's fantastic and extremely kind of her. Now that's settled. We're proceeding to choose a meat crab and a full of raw crab. Okay, so we had to make a quick pit stop. I had to use the washroom and we decided to get a little snack. A little snack? <laughs> this is not a snack and it's not little. It's huge. Fine, a big snack. Here's what we learned when eating. While crabs with a lot of roe are prized for their roast flavor and texture, they are generally considered to have less flavor meat compared to meat crabs, which are valued for their tender and juicy flesh. The one I'm holding is a roe yeah, yeah. crab, and the lady just came to check if the crab is up to her standard, or else she'll cook another one for us. How nice. Well, I think from now on, we'll just go for the meat crab because honestly, the roe one doesn't taste like much to me. And its flesh is really floppy. Anyway, getting to try this delicacy makes me happy and less hungry because the sub we ate earlier didn't hold me long. Very good. After the little break and feast, we're back on the road and my goodness, look at this. This is exactly why we love our road trip so much. Around 6.20 p.m., we arrived in the city of Regia, and it only took us 20 minutes from here to go find a hotel next to the pier. So it was convenient for us to take a boat right in the morning. Hey Maddie, so you're not gonna go out? We were supposed to nap for like 15 minutes. Dude, my head was like lolling on the back of the scooter. Okay, are you gonna go out with me or you're gonna stay home? I'm gonna go out with you, of course. Come here. But no nap at all. Come here. We don't have so much time. Fine. Hmm. Well, the scooter ride was seven hours long. No wonder Maddie was that tired and tried to negotiate with me for a nap. Seriously, I'm tired too, but I'm so excited to show Maddie around this beautiful city as much as I could. Oh, that's pretty. I've been to this city so many times before as I used to travel by boat to the island a lot. Each time I visited the city, it looked more developed to me, and this time around is not an exception. The area we're in right now used to be part of the sea, but thanks to their land reclamation projects that have been underway for over 20 years, this city has been expanded and transformed into a key urban area in the Mekong Delta region and a dynamic economic zone in the country. Not only have these expansions contributed to the development of Rekia City, but they also have provided the people with more living and working land. It's extremely expensive to afford a piece of land just to build a house here. That's probably why this road is teeming with businesses and coffee shops. Look at these! They're gorgeous and very much make up the beauty of this area, especially at night. Scooting past them made me want to go in one, but first, we need to grab dinner because it's been quite a while since we ate the crabs. So we pulled over to a restaurant nearby to eat these rice porridge bowls with pork intestines. I don't know what they put in here to make it that color. Maybe it's from the blood cake itself. Yummy. My favorite. They're exceptionally yummy. Herbs too. But the whole thing will taste even better if you include some herbs in each bite. Mm. At first I wanted to buy a little bit more intestine on the side, but then seeing it come out being so full on the plate, mm. I already told myself like maybe we couldn't be able to finish it all. So that's why we're so full right now. After dinner, all right, so considering that it is like 9.30 right now, right? Yeah. This coffee shop is teeming with people. And in case that you come to the city, 
remember the name of the coffee shop, Ballet Coffee. <laughs> this place is very aesthetic. It's filled with a lot of things. You can be over here in this section to read books. You can be over there in order to enjoy food. You can also be in the main section of the, the whole coffee shop you can talk to your friends but still being able to enjoy that quiet this place looks really clean right so the maintenance for this though has to also be through the roof as well they have the water feature that they have to take care of mm. they have all of the fake plants to dust like the plants don't even look dusty right even though they're fake and all of the furniture it's still really nice everything seems clean and I doesn't make you feel icky when you walk in here. And yes, I'm six years old. I like my sprinkles. I got some peanuts here and some cookies. You want a cookie? Yes, please. You have a cookie. Thank you. I'll share a little bit. Oh, it's orange. Mm, it's delicious. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very coconutty. <laughs> I have my own son. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to have another one later, okay? Thank you. I'm, I'm way too tired. Like I said, I was falling asleep on the scooter, so I'm ready to go to bed. I think I'm gonna conk out, because last night, we didn't get good nights sleep, right? Hopefully yep. tomorrow it's gonna be better with the condition, and we're gonna be able to take a boat or a ferry to get to Fubu Island. And then we'll be able to leave. All right, good night. Good morning, everybody. So right now, we are gonna go get something to eat. We're not gonna take the scooter. David said not to. But we're just gonna walk around and see if there's anything to eat in this vicinity, which I don't think there is, because looking last night, I didn't see many restaurants. David, on the other hand, I don't know. This place is a newly developed place, so it's built and designed and created to attract tourists. That's why there's no way that you couldn't find one single restaurant that you can eat for breakfast and also have coffee at the same time. This morning started with the awesome news released around 6 a.m. that boats can run to the island. This also means that we don't have to stay here in the city for another day. I feel so good right now and wanted to walk around this area to perk up a little bit more for the boat ride. I was gonna say, do you want bánh mì? I heard the scooter going across. Bánh mì, bánh mì all the time. <laughs> I thought you got your fair share of bánh mì yesterday. Never. It's never enough, never enough, whoa oh, no. Do you wanna head back and grab the scooter now? Cause Maddie was right. Okay, fine. Sometimes we just have to admit that we're wrong so we won't end up losing more time, so, you know? Wanna find ah. How about some sticky rice? All right. After riding for five minutes, we found this breakfast place. Shredded pork. So we just showed up at the ticket office and they took a picture of our license plate which is pretty cool, so amazing. And right now, we are sitting down at one of the tables they have because this ticket place also doubles as a coffee shop for some reason. I didn't tell you that I ordered some coffee. So you knew that I ordered some coffee? I heard sure. <laughs> wow. My ears are so sensitive. They're still gonna let the boats go today? Yeah. Sweet. All right. All right, now I'm gonna zip my baby up, make sure she don't get wet. This one's a little tricky, so to do this, you gotta get the jacket up high at the smallest part, and then zip. It wasn't doing it yesterday properly. Zip it up all the way, and then pull it down. Wow, look at this pregnant lady. Your new experience on the longest ferry ever. There we go, good. You gotta be specific, because I've been on a ferry before. But the longest one that I have been on is four hours. No, I'm kidding, an hour. <laughs> this one is gonna be around three hours. All right, well, I guess we'll settle in and watch Netflix. Traveling to Fukuok Island can be done either by air or by sea. Taking a ferry or an express passenger boat is a scenic and more affordable way in our case. 
Also, we can bring our scooter with us to commute around this island too. The distance is approximately 120 kilometers and typically takes around three hours. But if you want your boat ride to be a bit shorter, you can go to the other city named Ha Tien as another transit point to Phu Quoc by boat. Express passenger boats are faster than regular ferries and offer more comfortable seating and amenities. They are a good option for those who prefer a quicker journey and don't need to bring along a scooter like us. For those looking for a quicker way to reach Phu Quoc, flying is the fastest option and can be from various cities within Vietnam and also from some international destinations. The flight from Ho Chi Minh City to Phu Quoc, for example, only takes about one hour. Since the area is being affected by the storm that is happening in the north, the boat ride today is awful. I got pretty sick while on the way there and I was grumpy as heck. So thank you, David, for putting up with me. I, I got snippy, like, I'm not gonna lie. I felt like I was gonna like, toss my cookies, but <laughs> yeah, everything's fine now. The water is much calmer here, so it'll be okay. It's gonna be okay. And there's the island. So we finally made it onto the land of Phu Quoc Island. I'm so happy to be on land right now. Like, you have no idea. I was ready to be off the boat a long, long time ago. We are alive and now it's raining a little bit. It's drizzling actually. But and it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. And we are so excited to head to the resort. And now let's do it. From the pier, we're only 20 minutes out from the resort. But since it's raining, we needed to put the rain suits back on. It's windy. It is. Very windy. It is very windy. Man, I can't tell this is the same island I used to live on anymore. First, the pier is new. Now the road is unfamiliar to me too. I just have a feeling that our 10 day stay here is gonna be amazing. And yes, we arrived at the hotel. We're completely soaked. After parking the scooter, we quickly proceeded to the reception to check in. Everything looks amazing. And most importantly, we have a concierge to help us move the stuff up to our room. For our room is around 2.3 million dong or $100 a night, inclusive of breakfast and use of all swimming pools. They're also going for a beach feel. So for a beach feel, you use a lot of wicker. You can see that in like the style for the ceiling, the headboard, and then the chase lounge right there. But then also these chairs, right? And then also the furniture on the balcony. Oh, it's so warm out here. We get a nice view of the swimming pool. So we have full access to the swimming pool, as well as the restaurant downstairs on the main floor for breakfast and stuff. What time is breakfast? From six to 10. Ooh, okay. So then we don't have to get up too, too early. Wow. We got a kitchen. We get a wardrobe. There's a mirror right here that's all foggy. All right, so we have a whole kitchen cabinet here. And I don't think there, there's anything inside. Oh, uh, yeah. Really? There's nothing up there. Wait, it doesn't make sense to give us a stove, but nothing to cook with. I guess yeah. we're assuming that we're going to just buy everything. I mean, that's fine. Maybe you can ask for a pan. I don't know. There's literally nothing. Oh, fridge. Oh. The fridge is hiding. They gave us coffee, a kettle, three different coffee mugs. Oh. Oh, what <gasps> do we have up there? Well, there's a bag probably for the beach. Oh, so a beach bag. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's for sure. We have robes. All right, we have a safe here. A safe? What are we gonna put in there? I don't even know the combo though. Like, I think you somehow set your own combo. So we got a fancy schmancy bathroom. They have all the stuff here. So there's a shaving kit, a comb, probably won't use that. They have a vanity kit. What's a vanity kit? I don't know. Maybe something to wash your face. Sure. We have face towels. That's fancy. They have them all rolled up in a cute way too. And there's a telephone to call the front desk if you get stuck in the toilet. And the other person is staying in the living room. 
and that is what he or she is going to see. We're looking at that king size, very comfortable bed. The best Western Premier Sauna Sea Phu Quoc is a five-star luxury resort situated along the west coast of Phu Quoc Island, specifically on Bai Tuong, aka Long Beach. This beach is renowned for its long stretch of white sand and beautiful sunsets. With this location almost in the middle, we can easily go anywhere on this island with minimal travel time. Wow, and then the promenade splits off and then there's like another pool. So you gotta walk around that pool. We're going to stay in this resort for 10 days to adventure around this beautiful island. So we'll show you all in the next two episodes. In the next video, we'll head north to show you that you can experience everything here. From the European feels to Northern Vietnamese cultures, you can find it all here in this grand entertainment and festival center. We're also in awe of this humongous construction made from 42,000 bamboo shoots with lots of architectural and cultural significance. Oh, I also get to eat some unique seafood for the very first time and practice riding the scooter too. But I don't know, cause it's nerve wracking for both the driver and Sorry. the passenger. Okay, now I got it. Hey babe, now is the quiet time for us to keep our mouth shut and enjoy the fresh air coming in from the sea. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So you want me to be quiet? We're in the quiet place. Alrighty, if you enjoyed our trip to the island, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Your support will be much appreciated. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.